Uh, I'm Aaron Myrick. Uh, I'm a project leader at the Aerospace Corporation, and this is Moonlighter. Moonlighter is a platform that we have built for the testing defensive cyber technologies. It's a fully reprogrammable vehicle that lets us test out different tactics, techniques, procedures, and technologies when it comes to defensive cyber. So Aerospace X-Lab has done primarily all the building of, of the vehicle. We have had support from our other groups within Aerospace, including the Cyber Group. So they've been involved from the, the ground up with the development of this vehicle. It's actually kind of a, a cool new thing that, that we're doing here. Also on the top of this here is, is a, a camera that we've, we've put on. So when we do a cyber exercise, we want to have the space operators have a mission that'll allow the space operators to take pictures while these cyber events are going on. So can, can they fight through a cyber attack or not? So Hackasat is a effort that was started uh, previously with the Air Force, but now the US Space Force. So Space Systems Command has been taking a lead role in that along with the Air Force Research Laboratory. Aerospace has been involved since Hackasat 1 on this back in 2020. And we've sort of helped the, the Hackasat community and the organizers uh, develop this capture the flag game. And it, it's, it's a game, but it's, it's a way for us to, to advance how cybersecurity is looked at for space systems in, in, a, in a way that's competitive, also real. How Moonlighter fits in, into this is it's going to be the first on-orbit asset that will be used for Hackasat. Um, so in Hackasat 4, later this year, we'll be using Moonlighter as part of the final event for Hackasat 4. So the, the ultimate goal with this, and part of the reason why we built this, is so we can have a platform where we can iterate on these things. So not just do it once and be done. We want to try out tactics, techniques, procedures, try out technologies, see what works, see what doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, or if we need to make tweaks, we can do that. We can adjust how we approach that problem, what tactics we use, or, or what technologies we use. We can adjust it, we can uh, move it forward on the same platform. What we're trying to learn here is how are the, the, the cyber attack vectors, how are they played out? What, what can people accomplish with those and how we can defend them what mitigations we need to put in place to keep our systems safe and resilient.